The police is right here. I don't know if I can. Can I turn the camera? The police is right here telling me uh -huh. that they're here to take my child away from me. In Judge Manning's court, we have a TPO hearing that turns dire, leaving the judge to make a tough decision. Thank you for watching, and let's get into the video. All right, Brown versus Kennard. Here. All right, can you raise your right hands for me? Do you swear a firm testimony you're about to give in this petition for a TPO is the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth? I do. Yes. All right, you have any witnesses, Ms. Brown? Mr. No, I don't. I'm sorry, Mr. Brown. Ms. Uh, <clears throat> Ms. Kennard, do you have any witnesses? Um, not physically. I have a witness, but it's only over the phone, so I don't know if that counts. Is anybody on Zoom that you're witness, ma'am? No. Okay. All right. So go ahead, Mr. Brown. Tell me what's going on. Yes. Uh, uh, I got the TPO order uh, from some incidents that occurred. Uh, the most latest one I have that occurred on June 7th, where uh, me and Perlia was having a disagreement. And uh, she ended up grabbing a knife from the kitchen. And she ended up chasing me with it. And, you know, pretty much attacking me with the knife. I got video uh, footage of it. And uh, I had to run out the house and go through the basement at one point. At that time, I took some video evidence of, of, of a cut on my finger. Uh, made it back up. She chased me again at, at another point. I ended up getting a knife from her. And uh, that, that was the end of that day. I did not call, you know, contact police. And another incident that month <clears throat> happened on June the 7th. Where we, you know, uh, she was just being verbally abusive, you know, saying things like "nobody likes me," you know, "my sister, my dad doesn't like me," uh, "she wish I was dead," you know, stuff like that. Uh, she wish I died in my sleep, you know, things like that. And she also jumped on me and attacked me uh, that time as well. And I got video evidence of that. Uh, so that's kind of why I'm seeking this this protective order. Well, tell me what it is. Um about the knife incident? Uh, what exactly happened? Oh, uh, we was having a disagreement. We, we, we talk a lot. Uh, we were having a disagreement. I believe I believe it was about, you know, uh, you know, it was probably concerning the child, you know, with her, you know, she's breast, she's nursing, breastfeeding, it, you know, doing marijuana. And I, you know, I, you know, it's just, <laughs> just a disagreement. And uh, one thing led to another, and she ended up grabbing a knife from the kitchen and uh, chasing me with it. She and she was up. telling me, don't call the police, stuff like that, you know, because she, you know, don't want to get the baby taken away, stuff like that. Did she end up stabbing you with it or? Uh, yes, I got some, I got some proof. Uh, she bit me on my chest. Uh, I, I do, I got probably two cuts on my right thumb. Uh, I had a, but like I got some type of cut across my chest that I, I got some uh, proof of, uh, some across my shoulder, you know. Yeah, it wasn't no, I, I didn't get, it wasn't anything that completely punctured through that I needed to go seek medical attention. It was more so first aid. Uh huh. Yeah. Was she arrested? No, I did not contact police. All right. The, the only the time that I did contact police was when she broke down the bedroom door, and I have a police report of that. She did admit to that. All right. And then what had happened like the first part of June, June seventh, and happened May tw May twenty twenty one. Yeah, June twenty seventh. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, June seventh. Right. Yeah, like I said, she was uh I, I don't know how it started. It start I, I really don't know. Uh because they, they, they usually always start from disagreements, you know, and uh it just is it led to uh her verbally abusing, you know, just telling me things about you know how no one likes me. And you know, I guess I guess assuming why we can't communicate properly. Mm -hmm. You know, she's justifying why we can't communicate properly, saying uh, no one likes me and no one you know, wants to listen to me. Nobody cares about you. I wish you were dead. You know, 
Uh, she punched me, jumped on me, pulled my hair, you know, uh, even bumped, even bumped the child during the altercation. Uh, I, I actually, she had, she actually grabbed the knife during that time. The only uh, footage evidence I got of that is me actually hiding the knife so she can't see it, so she can't get it because I had got it from her before I could get any footage of that. Uh, right, Joe, and, and, and that was you Show me any of the footage? Yes, yeah, I, I can screen okay. share. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to share sound here. Share screen. Yeah, this is uh, some pretty graphic stuff here. So I'm just warning you. Oh, man. Stop. Hey, girl. Please stop. Can you hear anything? Uh-huh. Put the phone, the phone down right now. I'm stabbing. I'm sorry. I'm going to go to jail anyways. Put it down. Girl, I'm not calling You wouldn't let me call the police in the first place. Girl, stop, stop, please, 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 please. At that point, you see me going out the door, running out the door. And you can see her through the window here, like closing the door and locking it. But I had the basement window open, so I got back in through the basement where I came and made this video. Please. This is a cut from the block and also I don't know. I see a long gash punch me in the eye as well, but it's you get the what happened. I believe I have one on my shoulder here that's bleeding right now. There's a, there's a mark right here knife. across my chest. My eye is still healing. You can see a bite mark. And you can see the big bite mark on my here. chest here. On my teeth marks. She pulled me by my hair. Um, so that was that was June 27th. Um, June the 7th here. I started off, I, I didn't, you know, I just started which well, you know, getting the other mess of white marks. Here. June the 7th here. He's a bottle of ice marks, yeah. And I pretty much kind of ran into the room to get the footage. And uh, you can see I cut the light off here. I didn't know what to do, really. She's coming in the room. Uh, She's coming in the room. I'm going to record this. That's what she says. You hope I do that. I was big. I didn't. I didn't feel like that. Cause just cause you was the father of my son, but nigga, you an evil motherfucker. You, you hope I die. You hope you I die. Evil motherfucker. You. I hope. I hope karma. You hope I, I hope karma lay his ass on you. That's what I hope. I hope karma lay his ass. Yeah, on you. I heard. Die in my seat. 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 Die in my seat
Everything that you put me and my son through, everything that you didn't put me and my son through, hell yeah, nigga. I don't want so you to die. So that's what it's gonna take I'm for me. I'm sorry. That's what it's gonna take. Well, let me go. So I'm sorry. I don't want you to die though. Do that. Do that. What you recording me? Let me see your phone. You recording me? You recording me? You recording me? Right. Your daddies don't like you. Your sister don't like you. Don't nobody like you. Don't nobody want to be around you. Don't nobody love you, nigga. Your own son barely love you, nigga. You don't even know the conversation me and Mason had, bitch. you bitch. He don't like you for real. He sees through all your bullshit. And you think he just like he did everything. I can't wait to get my son away from his shit. My son away from his shit. You want to fight with Stop. Stop. I had I hit the knife at, at another point. I, I just grabbed it because I, I got it all to the room. I gave it all to some, some clothes. Pearl, let me get out the door. See, at this point, I'm trying to. Let leave. me get out the door. Stop recording me. I wanted to I get out the door. I to be recorded. Stop, you, you don't have stop to. Stop recording me. Man, I don't record you. Stop recording me. I just me. want to leave stop. out the door. cut off uh, and this is where I was I made it to the garage leave me alone Pearl. get off of me Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. watch the baby Pearl. Find the Pearl. Royale, huh? watch the Find baby Royale, huh? watch the you baby recording me, I'm giving you a show you recording me you want me to die because you know I'm got my baby on got man you. you got the baby man you got the baby man for years me and my baby. Me and my baby. Me Bruh, and my baby. get your baby. Get my side. So, so at this point, this is just this is just footage from the rain camera around the say, you know, it's time stamp. Around that time, you pretty much see me leave the residence. I, I was able to uh get out. You see me leaving in the car there. She did, I guess she didn't know where I was at. Uh, but we uh, at this point, I did not include my my you know, my son into this order because he's not legitimated right now. But I did uh, I did you know go ahead and seek an attorney, and I filed I, you know I sought for legitimation, and she has been served, and uh, that's what I, that's what I have here on the screen. All right, go ahead, ma'am. I'll hear from you. Thank you. So um, as it as it has to do with that first video that he just showed on um, the first video that he showed when I was attacking him with the knife. I was attacking him because the entire night he had verbally, mentally, and physically abused me the entire, the entire night. He takes the phones so that I can't record him or whenever I do get a recording of him, he deletes it because he has total access of this phone, the iCloud, everything. I have five police reports filed on Mr. Brown from his physical abusement towards me. Every time I retaliate a little bit after after I, I take the abuse for five hours on end out and I finally get fed up because I've been in a relationship with him for three years. I've been getting abused for, by him in all through the course of these three years of us being together. I have multiple multiple witnesses also that are that is willing to testify in in this case that i just gave them the information they will be getting on zoom shortly it's willing to testify in this case that mr brown has over and over and over again mint physically abused me to the point where i have five five police reports the reason why they're not in evidence is because the only phone that i have 
he has access to and I can't download any apps. I could not even download this app to even be on court right now. I have no money, no car. And the only phone I have is, is underneath his control. He is a narcissist, real narcissist. We have a 15 year age difference. Since I've been with Mr. Brown, anytime I asked to, first he isolated me from my family. He isolated me from everything. Then he takes control of the phone, takes control of the finances. Then he wiggles it in my face like, oh, if you leave, then you're going to have nothing. That's the reason why I, I tried to, to, to co-parent and be with Michael Brown so long is because I, 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 I am now financially dependent on him. But in the course of our whole relationship, I am the one who has been providing for our son. I am the one who has buy, bought everything that he owns. But Mr. Brown, because he knew that he was going to put a restraining order on me because he didn't want me to put the restraining order on him first because I had just got out of the hospital on June the 13th because I had a topic pregnancy rupture. I went through surgery. After I got back, out, after I got back out of surgery, the reason why I attacked him with the knife is because he kicked me in my stomach. He abused me all night because I was talking to a friend that he did not want me to talk to. So he abused me and my son all night, came in the room. I had barricaded ourselves in the room to try to keep him out, but he just would not stop. He took the phone so I couldn't call the police. The only option that I have is to run to the neighbor's house and call the police at six o'clock in the morning, which I have done multiple times in these police reports and I can give you all the case numbers. I was not able to submit them in evidence because I, I couldn't, because I can't download Dropbox on my phone. Like I said, I don't really, I don't have any other devices to do anything. I don't have, I only have one family member down here. She's been at work every other day. I had to take my baby to the doctor. I haven't been able to, to do that. So the reason why I attacked Mr. Brown on that first video is because I had just recently had surgery from a topic pregnancy rupture and he kicked me in my stomach. He also abused me the entire time. And what you guys see in those videos, each one of those videos is a reaction from the abuse every single time. And that, that's, 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 that's all I have to say. I have witnesses. I have five different police reports. Each of these police reports, two of them is from neighbor's houses where I had to call the police and I had to run out the house from his abuse. The police came and picked me up. I'll read them. Upon arrival, Mr. Brown stated that his, his child's mother damaged his property. This, this is when he said, I bust in the door. Mr. Brown also stated that he does not believe Ms. Kennard damaged the property on purpose, that it did not happen today or at the same time. Ms. Kennard stated that she did, she did damage the property, but it was only trying to get in the bedroom where her child was at. Was at, was at Ms. Kennard stated that she did damage the light fixture, but since it had got fixed, Ms. Kennard, basically all of these just state that he been taking the phone. He takes the phone. He stops me from calling the police. He deletes evidence, all the evidence. He deletes all the evidence, even all my receipts to show that I've been the one taking care of my son this entire time, his whole life. He deleted everything because he had access to do so with the, with, with the phone, the iCloud. I wasn't even able just to get on here to even defend myself in court a little bit because I couldn't even download Dropbox or Zoom because he has it on parental control. But that's what he does. He, he'll, he'll turn the Wi-Fi off in the house. He'll turn the phone on. I can't even call out. Only people that I can call is the police. And then he'll stop me from doing that by taking the phone or barricading me in the house. The abuse has been going on for three years and this restraining order is on me only because he thought that I was gonna put a restraining order on him first. Because after I got out of the hospital, I stated to Mr. Brown, this is too much. It's too toxic, it's too much. If you cannot not put your hands on me in front of my son, if you cannot give me basic respect, then I am gonna put a restraining order in, and you're not gonna be able to see Messiah anymore. So what he did was that, no, we can co-parent. We can do this cordially. We don't have to go through the courts. I don't want you to ever to feel like, I know I was wrong for this and this and that. We can do this cordially. So we made arrangements that I would move out. I would go back to Ohio because I have no family here in Atlanta, which he knows that's another reason why he prayed on me and that I wasn't able to always leave his house as fast because I don't have any, barely any support here. So I, I also, a couple months ago, left Georgia to get away from him 
took my baby to get away from the toxicity to start my life over. I was there for a month before Mr. Brown came down to Ohio asking to see his son, crying, saying he would go to therapy, he would go to counseling, all of this stuff because his son didn't, didn't even, wasn't paying attention to him, didn't really acknowledge him. So I said, okay, well, if you can go to therapy and we can go to therapy and we can be co-parents and we can, we can do this right, okay, I'll come back. I'll come back. I came back here and that's when all this other stuff then occurred after I came back here. So he put this restraining order on me to protect him, which that's what he'd been doing this whole time. That's why he'd been deleting the evidence. All I have for my evidence for me, I don't have any videos or recordings because he deleted all of that. All, every time he deletes it, he takes the phone, he deletes it. He do, doesn't let me call the police. Only thing I have is five police reports and I have multiple, multiple witnesses. The neighbors are willing to testify. One time he picked us out on the side of the highway Ma'am, and I and I literally got out. Manny, could we just take a moment and put Michael Brown in a breakout room with me, please? Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hold on a second. I don't know if you want to move on to another case, but I'll just be done for a few minutes. Okay. Let's see. I think you're a co-host, right? You can go. Okay. I put him in breakout room one. That's crazy, and it's crazy. He accumulated all of this evidence. Oh, go ahead. I Everything. think you go. You're a co-host, so go into one. This is crazy. Hold on. <laughs> Every week. Are you in Ma'am, are you in Georgia? Yes, right now I am still in Georgia. Okay, hold on one sec. Let me see when they get back. Hold on. Anything else from you, ma'am? Ms. Brown? Excuse me. Ms. Kennard, anything else from you? Where did Ms. Kennard go? Ms. Kennard, anything else for you, Mr. Brown? Um, not right now. I can answer any questions. Anything else from you, Ms. Kennard? No, um, besides my witness, I have a witness in the um, Zoom now. Is she the one that has the um, that was smoking a cigarette and walking around with a um, the proxy? Okay. Yeah. That's my mom. She okay. has been, I've called her multiple fa FaceTime. She's been one of the main witnesses to all of the abuse. Okay. All right, where's she at? All right, ma'am, can you raise your right hand? You swear a firm testimony you're about to give in this petition for TPO is the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. You have to untake yourself off mute, man. Your Honor, are you talking to me? Yep, yeah, you're the only one. Go oh, ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you. No, not you. No, me. not you, Miss Aponte. The lady with the shower cap on. Or okay. The hair bonnet. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. Tell me what you know about what's going on with Miss Kenyard. Okay. I'm Pearlia's mother, and I okay. live in Ohio. And since day one, this man has beat on my daughter. I have been on the phone where he has actually beat my daughter up, and I'm sitting here looking at my daughter. Then he will call me and start recording my daughter when she attack him. My daughter just had surgery. She had her fallopian tubes taken out. And this man punched my daughter in her stomach. This man has put my daughter through so much and my family through so much. I brought my, sent my sons to get my daughter from Atlanta. She, she came here to Ohio. He convinced her to come back. And soon as she get back, he started beating on her again. He only records what he wants to record. He don't record what he be doing to my daughter. I am so sick of this man and these games he plays. I've never in my life met a person like this. He put my daughter out on the road, butt naked, kicked him out the house, her and my grandson. And he always talking about his son. You let your son get in the car without a car seat because you don't want to give it up because you mad because she left. 
Oh, you let your son be outside just in a diaper because you mad. He beats her constantly, but he'll record what he wants to. Have you witnessed it firsthand, ma'am? My, I have it. My other daughter, she lives in Atlanta and she has come to get my, my daughter from that house. It's been times that he was beating her and she would just like call me and I can hear it. The man has even been disrespectful to me after he didn't beat my daughter and I'm trying to talk to the man. He disrespects me. I'm, I, 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 I'm tripping on this restraining order. She the one needed to be putting a restraining order on him. But no, she's young and she felt like she was in love. And he took advantage of that. He's too old to even be with her. I am fed up with this situation. I'm shaking now and I, I'm, I'm really upset for the games that he plays. He is so manipulative. I'm just, I'm just over this. He's so sneaky. I, I, I can't take it anymore. I, I, can't. I, I, I can't. I've been begging her to get away from him. Stay away from him. I sent my sons to get her. She was here. He manipulated her to come back. And then the stuff started all over again. I'm getting phone calls. He doing this to me. And he in the background yelling and screaming and being really disrespectful, calling her all out her name, telling her she ain't this, she ain't that. I, I'm, mm, I'm gonna calm down. This is the most disrespectful human being I ever met in my life. And I'm done with this. It's, I pray that Pearl, you stay away from him. That is not a good situation for you or your child. At some point in your life, you will start listening to your mother. Let this go. Let it go, I please. Think, I think we've lost her. I don't know where she went. She's not on Zoom anymore. She probably upset because I'm upset but your honor I'm oh my mother my dead mother I'm not gonna lie about this this man has been beating my daughter and he only records what he wants to be seen he has cameras all around his house crazy stuff inside the house you get Whew. this is the most narcissistic man I've ever met in my life and I'm so afraid for my daughter. If nothing be done, just make sure she stay away from him. Uh, Judge, can we yeah. take a break real quick and I speak to Michael Brown? Okay, well, I think, I, I don't see her. I think she's gone. If y'all want to go back to the breakout room, y'all can. Yeah. Um, Mr. Brown, will you hit where it says breakout room, join, you're in room one and hit. Ma'am, if, if you want to reach out to your daughter, see if she can jump back on the link, okay? That'll okay. get trying to get back on. Uh, Michael, do you see where do you see where it says room one? It did not pop up yet. Okay. Go back down the purple where it says breakout room. Yeah, and if you scroll oh. down where it says room one, yeah, you see it now. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. All right. While y'all do that, I'm gonna until she gets back on, I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock out this other hearing real quick because I've got my last hearing that's on. All right. It looks like uh, where did uh, Mister. Uh, 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 Mr. Cole all down. Looks like uh, I think Mr. Brown was having some sort of internet issues or something. Yeah, he's back. I just think his camera's not being judge. All right. Uh, all right, Ms. Kenyard, anything else you want to tell me? Uh, did you hear what your mom said? I can't hear you, ma'am. You're on mute. The phone had um, died, so I okay. didn't hear what you said. you have anything else you want to tell me? Um, other than the fact, like, he still has control over the, the phone, and he, like, 
he just does his best to go out his way to hurt me. It's not even about our son. It's about hurting me, controlling me, having control. And if I don't do what he and sound like he want me to sound, then I have I have repercussions to pay. I have I have consequences. You have to submit. Pretty much. If I don't submit, then I have consequences. That's why I have this restraining order. That's why I, uh, more than just that. But all right, let's see. Is Mr. Brown, are you still having issues? Is he still having issues with his camera? You want to text him and see or whatever, Miss Jill? Do they be I'm, sorry, judge. I'm sorry, I thought that may have been him, but was it somebody else? What was the question? Do you know if he's still having issues with his camera? If he is, I could just continue to. Yeah, I think we should just continue it and move on to another case because I know he was having some issues with it. Okay, if he's having issues, I'll go ahead with this. I'm sorry, Ms. Kennard. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue with this other hearing I'm having really quickly. All right, okay. so as soon as Mr. Brown can connect with his camera, you and your mom can hold on. At this point, while they wait for the plaintiff to fix his internet issue, the judge decides to move on to another hearing. Then this happens. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry, I have to interrupt. I have, um, I haven't finished my court case with the judge and I have police in front of me. So I really need to speak to the judge because I have, I have police trying to take my child away from me and I haven't even finished court. I'm waiting for the, the, the other person to come back on the phone and now the police is here to take my baby away. Let's see, uh, Mr. Brown. Yes. The police is right here. I don't know if I can, can I turn the camera? The police is right here telling me mm -hmm. that they're here to take my child away from me. And I haven't even finished to get no verdict in this court right here. I've been on the phone with you guys since 1220 this, this morning. I, I understand, ma'am. You're going to go ahead and give them the Mr. Brown's going to get the child and you're, you're going to go show up back to court, file some sort of emergency uh, motion and get in touch with one of the other judges and appear in front well, of them. Mr. Brown's going to keep your I child you. until you guys can get in front of another judge. Mr. Brown, go pick up the child. Until when? Yes, yes ma'am. You get in front of the other judge for the legitimation case, ma'am. Until the so a whole month? I didn't say a month. I said till you get in front of the other judge in the legitimation. The legitimation case. already that that says it takes 30 days. We haven't even ma'am call and speak with the lawyer. Is... Ma'am, call and speak with the lawyer. There's <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six lawyers right He's here. He's not even legitimated, and now they can just ma'am. There's baby one, away. two, three, four, five, six lawyers right here. Go speak with the lawyer. Mr. Brown, go. And this is Justice How. You haven't even told me no verdict in my case. You haven't I'm even telling you right now, ma'am, I'm putting this in place. Your mental health status and the way you were acting on those videos and with that knife, with that child there has me very concerned for his safety <laughs> and the safety of that child. Okay, so what about all the evidence that I told you? Ma'am, I'm I telling tell you right you? now. I have five police I'm telling you right now to turn him. the child over to that to the sheriff so they can give them to Mr. Brown. And the judge hearing the legitimation case will hear more about where the child needs to be on a more permanent basis. Right now, turn the child over and go hire a lawyer. Quit playing with me, man. Y'all foul. Y'all court system is, is foul. Y'all real foul. Y'all real foul. Because she says she's concerned for my mental state and the well-being massage. So it worked. Now he got. Ma'am, you should go get a lawyer. Too. You said go get a lawyer. That's what you should probably do, ma'am. One, uh, two, yeah, three, four, five, I'm, six. Yeah, my baby's getting taken. They're away all from right me, here. So, yeah. Ashley Wine, Miss Miracle, Marcy Millard, Eileen Schumann. The lawyer talked to Mike. The lawyer talked to him. Nobody talked to me though. I didn't get a public defender. Somebody put him yeah, in. This isn't a criminal case, ma'am. This isn't a criminal case, ma'am. This is not a criminal case, ma'am. You don't have a right to a lawyer. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and remove you from this meeting. I'm going to remove you from this meeting. I'm going to remove you from this meeting. You'll get a copy of this order. Jill, make sure that he's got the kid, okay? Okay. And Ms. Villard, this is my last question. I'll confirm that, Judge. Oh, thank you. 